Hello one and all and welcome back to the channel. It's me, Marie, and today we are finally doing a townie makeover and well, I figured if you're gonna do a townie makeover, why not start with the iconic, very beautiful Bella Goth. So that's just what we did. Um, so I just started with her hair, obviously, and we work our way down. I kind of didn't know what vibe I wanted to go with. I knew that we were still gonna keep the same, like, red and black theme through her clothes, because that's just her iconic colors, and I wanted to kind of keep it that way. Um, and of course, we kept her same hair color, but I was just thinking, do I want to give her a little bit of shorter hair, or do I want to give her some kind of hair with a little bit more color to it, but I think we ended up doing just the same, just black hair, um, but we, I'm pretty sure we ended up using this one, yes. I don't know, I, I feel like it gave her a little bit more dimension, I feel like her regular hair just kind of drowns her out, it's a little boring, so... Um, and then, of course, I still wanted, I was looking for that black and red swatches, kind of hoping to keep her same colors, and I saw this, and I thought, I love that, and it comes in the black and red, and I thought, maybe we're gonna go for a little bit of very rich boss lady, um, expensive businesswoman vibe and I was like I love that for her she is such a, um, a just a sim that everybody kind of makes in all their different ways and I thought you know maybe she would kind of go for this it made her pop just a little bit and definitely having some of those other colors to kind of go with the red and black made it just a little bit more interesting. Um, I kept her makeup pretty simple though and we're just kind of giving her a little bit of eyeshadow with a pop of highlight in the corner. Um, I think we ended up giving her a little bit of eyeliner too and possibly... Yeah, we gave her a lipstick on the majority of her outfits. At first I was going to go for a little nude, and I thought, man, that looks really pretty, but then I ended up going for more reds because she's Bella Goth, and I figured we would just kind of keep it that way, and I give her a cute little necklace, and it kind of completed the outfits. And then I, whenever I saw her formal wear. I was like, oh my gosh, yeah, it needed to be really, really redone. So that's just what we did. Um, I do believe we ended up using the, um, vintage, the vintage glamour updo for this one. I think it's really, really pretty. It looks good on every sim, I feel like. Um, and that, that turned out to be not any different for Miss Bala Goth here. Yeah, and we kept the red lipstick as well. Now I'm interested in, if you, any of you have suggestions on other townie makeovers, you can comment them down below. And I will do my very best to get through them all, that would be a goal of mine. I would like to redo everybody at some point, um, just because it kind of mixes it up a little bit, and I think it's really fun. Um, yeah, we did use that hair on her. Um, and for her, I decided that we would go for a dress, I do believe. Um, yeah. And I think, I don't think I ended up using any custom content on her. So if you guys do download her off the gallery, 
she should be good to go. No problems there. I do believe so. Ugh. That dress looked really good and I was tempted to use it, but then I saw this one and I was like, oh my gosh, yes. She has to have this dress. She's just one of the sims that I would think would totally give off the rich. I mean, they have a pretty nice house. Y'all have seen it. It stands out so bad on the Willow Creek map because it's just so dark, but obviously they have pretty good money. Um, so just kept the black and red theme for her athletic wear, nothing too crazy. I think we give her, yeah, we give her the university shoes. I love those sneakers. They look so good. Um, yeah, I had to put her hair back on there. And then I just took her makeup off completely because I was like, why would you work out with makeup on? It would just run down your face. Like, I cannot wear makeup when I go to the gym. I don't know about you all, but it just... I don't know, I feel like it kind of suffocates my skin and leaves me sweating and then you know what happens from there, it just kind of all melts off your face. <sighs> or you end up wiping it off and it's just an entire mess. Uh, oh, so we did give her a little button on this outfit, I forgot about that. Just that, it has that nice headband with it. And then I think we go back to the same hair as the everyday from the Romantic Garden. I love that hair. And I'm so glad that we used it on her. Um, we just popped on that robe for her. Um, and her party wear is so iconic. I almost kind of played around thinking, do I want to leave her fishnets or do I want to take them off? And I think I ended up taking them off. Yeah, we did. Um, and I kind of just looked through all the dresses and I liked this one on her very um, a-line skirt um, very still kind of the same vibe but then I saw this one and I thought oh she's this is more gothic and rich woman what like rich woman vibes and just paired it I, try, I went through so many shoes because I just couldn't find anything that really matched that gold or I don't know it was kind of all kind of giving me not enough I don't know I just wasn't really pleased with any of the shoes to be honest but I ended up going with those base game ones because I just thought uh, maybe the dress will be where everybody's looking and they'll just ignore the shoes <laughs> but they didn't look terrible either just some simple heels and then here we're just i kind of tried to pop in a little bit of red into her eyeshadow on this one because we didn't get any of the red on the outfit because it was just the black and the gold so i just uh gave her brighter red on the eyeshadow and figured that it would look okay with that darker red lipstick kind of just popping that on her and then looking through I looked through a lot of these necklaces um, I liked that one but I it, I thought it was too much so we I don't yeah I don't think we end up using any of them I think I give her a bracelet instead because I just, I don't know, the way that neckline is, I just feel like none of them was really doing it for me. Um, and then we move on to the swimwear. And I had to give her this. I, this was the one swimsuit that I knew for sure that I wanted to use on her. Um, she definitely gives off that vibe. Her and Nancy Land Grab. But... I was like, oh, definitely Bella would totally wear this, probably. She's, she's got to be a very confident woman. Um, so we just give her that. And that's, I don't know why she was trying to wear a hat. But I was totally thinking the whole time, yeah, you're not keeping that. She tried, but she did not succeed. 
and I love this city living shirt and I used it in the red of course and then there's so many skirts but none that I really wanted to use with this um, yeah I none of those three were really doing it for me so I don't know I looked and I looked and I looked through all of these skirts <laughs> And it took me a while to finally settle on one, and I even I even tried the Romantic Garden one. But that one is the one we ended up going with. I love the asymmetrical, and it was less busy than the other skirts, so I thought, eh, you know, her shirt's gonna be the center of attention. It's got sheer, that sheer red color, and some pockets, and it's just very businessy. And then I thought, it needs a darker lip. She tried to have a nose piercing to you guys, but, and it looked good, but I just decided, no. <laughs> um, so we just pretty much put our makeup back on, and for this, um, I just kind of kept her pretty simple. I had to use this on her because I was like, oh, definitely very rich woman business wise and I looked through I kind of wanted to use these pants but then I decided to go with the new face game um, CC the OO Britney jeans and I ended up loving them and we just give her some boots and I think we top her off with the beanie but I was a little indecisive about the boots too but I'm really glad about, of how she came out in the end, and I hope you guys like her. As she will be available on the gallery if you want to go ahead and download her. My origin ID is Marie Mooney, and if you haven't already, remember to hit that thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, and I will see you all in the next one. Thank you one and all, and have a wonderful day. Toodles!